Well, today I'm here and I'd like to begin by just uh, talking about how what God did for my mom and for me last year as she battled through cancer. And it's basically about his love for both mom and I, and I'm just so excited to be able to give this story to you as to what God has done. In February, on February 2nd of 2012, my mom was diagnosed with bladder cancer as a result of her symptoms. I brought her to the doctor. And uh, it strikes fear into the average person, into uh, believers it even does the same thing. And, I, and, and it's, uh, it, it's one of those things that really forces you to press into the Lord, and that's what we had to do during the course of the week. We began to search the scriptures and try to find something that would you know, be a, a help to us to fa face this battle. And what I found was the part where Jesus, he spoke a curse on the fig tree, and then I'd just like to read that passage to you. Then Jesus said to his disciples, have faith in God. I assure you that you can say to this mountain, may God lift you up and throw you to, into the sea, and your command will be obeyed. All that is required is that you really believe and do not doubt in your heart. Listen to me, you can pray for anything, and if you believe, you will have it. And then Pastor Matt came over night, uh, on Friday afternoon and he prayed with Mom and I. And it seemed to me as we began praying and began to read the Bible and, and uh, do things like that, that the focus was beginning to be more on the Lord and less on the curse of cancer. And then on Sunday, the doctor that my mom, who was going to do the surgery for my mom called. And um, I spoke to him and I pressed him basically to see what kind of hope he could give me for her surgery as she was going to go through this. And because of her age and because of the size of the growth, he, he was hesitant to give me much hope. So. I was watching Christian program, Andrew Womack, which I watch pretty often. And uh, at the end of, towards the end of the program, I decided to call in for prayer for my mom. And I called and um, I got a guy on the line, and the guy's name, I still remember, his name is Colin, and he was very, very emphatic about how it was God's desire to heal. And he made a big point of that. And then uh, he also emphasized the same passage that we had been reading, which I thought was, you know, just a nice uh, conclusion to the fact that we were on the right track. And Wednesday was a, a difficult day for my mom. Her symptoms escalated. I remember by the end of the day, I decided that something in me, the Spirit of the Lord spoke to me and I said, I gotta go speak to my mom before she goes to bed. And I, and what, was, what I was led to say was that, Mom, before, the, um, before we reach the other side, when we're going through a storm, sometimes it, the, it'll get more rocky, but yet Jesus is gonna bring us through. And that's what I told her. My mom told me when she, after she had gotten up, she told me that she was so afraid to get up that morning because of what had happened the day before, that she prayed a simple prayer, and the prayer was, Lord, you need to help me today. Jesus, I need you. I am afraid of this whole, of what's going on, and, I'm, and uh, I need your help. And I can honestly say that the Lord answered that prayer because from thurs that Thursday all the way right through Friday uh, before her surgery, her symptoms were completely gone. And on that particular day, since she was doing pretty well, uh, my brother came by and he was visiting and uh, I decided to go out to the store. And as I got into the car on the way back, the car engine made so much noise that I was um, concerned that it, you know, I wasn't even gonna make it home, let alone take her to surgery for the next day. And I, uh, Got out of the car, left it running, looked under the hood, looked under the car. I couldn't, I couldn't find anything that, I, that could have caused this noise, but it was so uh, awful that I thought, that this, this is, think the car is probably shot. So I got back in the car, and I remember I, I prayed to the Lord. I said, Lord, I just cannot have this. I said, you know I'm going, taking mom to surgery for tomorrow. And I, I was just basically pleading with him. I said, I can't have this. This, is, this can't be happening. And the Holy Spirit, or Jesus himself, spoke to me and said, step on the gas. And I said, okay, I'll step on the gas. So I stepped on the gas, and when I stepped on the gas, all the noise, every possible noise that I had heard was all gone. And I remember I just broke out in tears because I saw how much God loved my mom and how much he loved me, even with this particular situation that I was facing. 
not only did he help my mom have a great day, he also helped me where the car looked like it was broken and now it was back to normal. Now Friday morning rolls around and uh, it began with prayer. Pastor Matt came in, this was early in the morning, probably 7 or 7.30, and Pastor Matt came over. Uh, my sister-in-law Mia came and my uh, niece Tori, my mom and myself, and we had a real spirit-filled prayer session. And I must say that the Lord was very much in attendance, and it was just the best way that we could do what we could do to start the day, and I'm so thankful for that. And then Mia and myself went down to the hospital with Mom, and she basically, uh, we waited around, and she had her surgery at 3 o'clock, and at 3 o'clock the doctor came out, and he had a big smile on his face. And uh, he expressed to me that everything went better than he had expected, and I remember I gave the doctor a big hug, hug, and then I also said a quick prayer to the Lord Jesus, thanking him for what he had done. My mom goes to see the doctor every three months, and the same doctor, this is how God works, but the same doctor who didn't give me much hope when I spoke to him on the phone previous, before her surgery, uh, now happily gives me an excellent report every time uh, I take my mom to see the doctor every three months. And it, it just shows how much God loves both mom and I and my whole family in that he directed our path. God is so good and I'm so thankful that he's with us in the middle of our storms. I'm very, I'm very glad that God helped us in the middle of our storm. And if he helped me and he helped my mom and our family, he can do the same for any one of you here.